Hey guys, it's your girl Melissa. Today we're having Cheesecake Factory. I got the deep fried mac and cheese balls. That is a must. I got a Parmesan crusted chicken Romano and a key lime cheesecake. I actually already got into these fried mac and cheese balls because I was filming a TikTok. So if you wanna check that out, go and follow me. I'm pretty sure you guys all know what this is, right? Everyone always has it on their mukbang channel. Oh my God, it's falling apart. Mm. I remember the first time I've ever tried this. I was in Reno and we ate at Cheesecake Factory. My sister's like, you guys need to try these. They are perfect. $15 for four mac and cheese balls. This was more expensive than my entree. Okay, I asked for a side of Alfredo. I couldn't decide if I wanted red sauce or Alfredo sauce, so I asked for a side of the Alfredo. And I'm glad I did because it was looking pretty dry. I have been craving red sauce so much. And actually, after this, I'm gonna be going to Zachary's Pizza to pick up a deep dish pizza for a mukbang I'm gonna film later on during the week. Mm. And the brown bread. I should have asked for angel hair pasta. I like the really, really thin pasta noodles. So good. I probably should have cut up their chicken. I love their Parmesan crusted chicken. You guys have to try it. It's kind of falling off. It's not really crunchy anymore. Mm. How are you guys? <laughs> so you know what? On my way to pick up the food, one of you guys actually messaged me requesting me to do a Cheesecake Factory mukbang. I'm like, uh, it's meant to be. What do you guys think of my hair? I tried to do something different. I don't like it. I don't think it suits me very well. I feel like this look, I'm trying to be someone I'm not. <laughs> Do you guys ever feel like that when you try a new look? My sister and I are the same size, clothing size. And so sometimes I'll dabble in her closet, but her and I have such different styles. She's definitely more hip and trendier than I am. And it looks so good on her. And one time I tried on her shirt. I let her dress me basically 
and I look like a lunatic. <laughs> it did not look good on me. Maybe because I wasn't used to it, but I just feel like if I walked out in public like that, people would notice, like, what are you wearing? Mm. So you guys, I've done a Cheesecake Factory mukbang before, but why this one is more enjoyable is because the first one I did, it was a collab video and we swapped orders. So I got what that person normally would order. <clears throat> and it's just something I normally wouldn't order at Cheesecake Factory. Like if I'm going to Cheesecake Factory, I want pasta. I'm not going to order Mexican food. <laughs> Mm. This is hitting the spot. It's not cooperating. You guys have really been liking the videos with my husband in it. I really appreciate it. I want to do other things on my channel. Um, not just mukbangs. I need more of this marinara sauce. Um, one of you guys asked me if I ever plan to vlog. And I think for now, the answer is no. I definitely want to keep this channel solely food related. But I do want to do more challenges and stuff. And so there was actually this video idea I wanted to do. Let me know your guys' thoughts. But I wanted to try different ethnic snacks with my husband. So maybe one video we'll try Mexican snacks. Filipino snacks. Korean snacks. Japanese snacks. Hmm. Would you guys want to see something like that? Let me know in the comment section. I thought it'd be fun. I know you guys enjoy the mukbangs, but just so it's not only mukbangs, but still keeping it food related. There was something else that looked really good at Cheesecake Factory. I think it's new. It's like a baked rigatoni. It honestly just looked like a lasagna. You know what? I think I did something here. Have you guys ever had white sauce and red sauce together? Changes the game. Mmm. This is so filling. Okay.
Their marinara is really good. Okay, I think I'm done with their pasta. I'm gonna clean this up and we'll have the cheesecake. Okay, on to dessert. Now, a lot of you are probably thinking, key lime pie, Melissa, are you 60? <laughs> I don't know, I love key lime anything. Mm. So tart, so sour, so good. <laughs> I don't know why I like it so much. Mm. It gives me chills. I remember having this for the first time on a work trip with one of my coworkers and my life changed. I was obsessed. I can't do too much though. Oh, this will wake you up. Something fell earlier. I think it was the lime on top of the cheesecake. I don't know where it went. I have to clean up my car later. Last bite. I think this is a little too sour for me. It's kind of like making the roof of my mouth hurt. <laughs> That's it, I can't do any more. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see this face again. Keep it yummy. Mwah.